Well, hello again, back for another weekly vlog, woohoo. You're probably wondering why I am in the LaGuardia crew room. Probably not, you probably don't care, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. So today is the first day of our trip. We are going from Newark to Edinburgh layover and then Edinburgh, Scotland back to Newark. We're taking the 757 today, but y'all know I'm a commuter. So I actually took Delta Initially, I thought a weather, uh, bleh, I can't even talk. Initially, I thought a weather line was going to come through Newark. It said there was going to, and uh, so I just decided to go from Tyson McGee, Knoxville, Tennessee on Delta up to LaGuardia, and then um, we have a free flight attendant shuttle that takes us from LaGuardia to Newark because that's a, a co base for us. Um, and I was like, okay, let me just get in. Flight got in around 1.50, missed the flight attendant shuttle, and we got a couple in a day. So the next one wasn't until later tonight, which actually gets me over to Newark like two and a half hours before check-in, which is plenty, plenty time. We're already ready and everything. So yeah, I just decided to commute into LaGuardia and just take the free shuttle over. And I'm a cheap, bum so uh, instead of me ubering spend a hundred dollars to uber over to newark why would i do that when we have a free flight attendant shuttle so even though i've had to wait for the last like four hours or so i was like it gives me a chance to eat get some starbucks get ready do my hair do my makeup all that stuff so i am ready way ahead of time even when i get into newark i'll have plenty of time to go chit chat in the crew room and see who's in there and just bug people honestly <laughs> I'm a talker I bug everybody I go up to the to the crew desk down there and I'm just like who's working <laughs> anyways so yeah that's the only reason we're at LaGuardia normally I don't fly into LaGuardia commuting but I just want to get into the New York Newark area in case weather hit instead of going through like Dulles or Chicago like I normally do and uh, you guys know sometimes I'll go direct out of Nashville. I didn't want to drive the two hours today to go out of Nashville. So Knoxville it was, which is okay. Like I said, it's going to be a good day. We're excited for um, Edinburgh. So if y'all don't know, every single year, Edinburgh, Scotland hosts the Royal Military Tattoo. So to be honest, I am hoping if uh, I'm not too tired, to maybe get some tickets over maybe one of the crew members will want to come with and then we can take y'all along with other than that if i don't go i'm still going to take y'all on an adventure this is how we're going out today i did not have time to get my nails done and normally i do before a trip so i'm like i'm kind of sad look at that i need to get my life together y'all that is bad okay y'all so per my last clip if you've seen i was at i commuted into laguardia and now i took the flight tenant shuttle over to newark and we are going to edinburgh tonight but something that it happens but not a lot but kind of a lot is they swamped us from a 757 over to a 767 so a bigger aircraft that means a lot more people get to get upgraded to polaris going over to edinburgh which is exciting i mean honestly who wouldn't want to be comfortable with a six and a half hour flight going over but yeah we are about to walk over to the gate and then i will see y'all when we get into edinburgh well a very good morning actually i should say 5 18 p.m and we made it over to edinburgh and uh yeah i had the best nap ever probably one of the I, I normally wake up like really groggy, but this one I actually slept really, really good, which is a good thing. But other than that, I'm going to meet up with another flight attendant. We're going to go exploring, see what we can get ourselves into. If you guys don't know, the um, Royal Military Tattoo is going on. But along with that, there's a bunch of comedy shows. There's a festival, everything. So we're just going to see what we can get into. But first, food, definitely. And finish all this that's going on. <laughs> So give me a moment. And just like that, we are ready for the day. Okay, so I'm really craving fish, fish and, uh, see y'all, I can't even talk. I'm really craving fish and chips. So we are gonna go find a fish and chip restaurant. 
but we're ready and let's see what we can get into. Oh, it is so busy here. Look, with all the festivals and everything going on, it is busy, busy around here. Y'all, look at this Scottish egg. How good does that look? We got our glass of champagne, or I'm sorry, Prosecco, and then we're waiting on the fish and chips, yay. Okay, moment of truth, ready? Mm. Oh my God. Y'all, that is so dang good. If you're ever here, you gotta come here and try the Scottish egg. Well, a very good morning. I have my tea where I have half my hair curled. We are just getting ready for the day. And oh my goodness, I actually slept really good. I did the sleepy time tea. If y'all haven't tried it, it just kind of relaxes you before bed. Cause um, I have a habit before bed of getting on a million things on my phone, on my laptop, thinking about things I want to do and ideas and need to do, yada, yada, yada. And then I just don't go to bed. I don't fall asleep until like two and then got to get up early, that kind of thing. Luckily, this isn't one of those like super early shows. It's a um, 12, 10 show. So that's actually not bad. Woke up on my second cup of tea, which is great. And then currently, you know, just going to finish curling my hair and get ready. But, um, yeah remember at the beginning of the vlog when i said that they swapped our aircraft to the 767 well now we're taking the 757 back so edinburgh because of this route we always take the 757 over here but because our original 75 was broke they swapped us into the 76 coming over but now we're going to take the 75 going back because the crew coming in is bringing a 75 and not a 76. So, so back to the original type of plane we're supposed to have. Okay, and just like that, we are all ready. Tell me what y'all think about the high pony. I'm kind of getting into it. It's different than my normal like hair being down, flowy kind of thing, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of liking it. We're looking a little fluffy today with the ponytail, but so um van time is here actually in a little bit. I have a little bit of time. But uh like I said, we're taking the 757 home. Flying time today is blocked at about six hours and 50 minutes, but it will be a little bit shorter than that. And we're excited to go home because we're commuting. And then um, my captain is actually a Nashville commuter. So him and I will be taking the same Nashville flight home. So hopefully he'll um, fly a little fly. Uh, uh. Hopefully, he'll fly a little bit faster today <laughs> so we can both make that commute. But other than that, let's go to work. And just like that, we're officially off the aircraft and now I gotta go through customs because 
your girl is commuting home, but I'm not gonna double commute home to Knoxville. I'm actually gonna go through Nashville and then my husband's gonna pick me up. So let's go on. Well, hello again. Um, for the last clip, I am officially done working. So now we are just commuting home. Got my Starbies and got my Wendy's nuggets and sauce. If you can hear me over them and have the makeup swiped off that's when you know it's been a long flight but yeah we got our starbucks i might have to take the jump seat so we'll see it's um currently the numbers are looking negative so i listed for the jump seat and then i listed for an actual seat but we'll see you know if nobody shows up it's fine if people show up then i'll just take the jump seat home so i'm so excited right now it's evening time in newark and it's just so busy with all the internationals going out but I gotta say, overall, after the flight, one thing I love about the Edinburgh flight is that the people are so good. I'm not even gonna lie, it's the crowd. Like, you know how there's certain destinations where the crowd is just awesome, amazing, and then there's other, like, routes where the crowds are just, like, not as nice, that's, that's a nice word. But um, yeah, just Edinburgh, they're always so fun. They're always so joking. And I think that's what I love about it. It's so easy going. Everybody is absolutely amazing. And that's, excuse me, that's just Scotland in general, honestly. So yeah, um, other than that, easy flight. And we are going to go home.